well, that that during the the Floyd riots, um, the uh, problem children were opportunists. That was not organized by anybody. That was just angry kids. Here, yeah, we, had, here. we had one night where uh, where there was some several damage to several properties. Um, the rest of the night, so I mean, it showed that we're well prepared to handle anything and limit the amount of damage people hurt. Well, the point the point I was making, you you've been real good at that. I mean, <laughs> the 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 worst thing I've seen you do was knock the little old lady down when everybody got a little stupid in the street. Yeah, that was uh, that was something from that was not anything related with George Floyd stuff. That was no, that was that, that was a, a spontaneous demonstration from the immigration uh, thing that uh, Trump did when he first came into office. And, and they tried to they tried to take it to the street without a permanent rush hour, and it's just you can't do that in this town. And the little old lady got uh, just knocked down. Yeah, that was an unfortunate situation. <laughs> yeah, shit happens. You know, people get we're getting like tear gas in the face to you get know, a pepper spray in the face because someone got stupid too close to them. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, twenty Alvernon was where. Uh, the problems were happening, after, you know, during, that I, I saw that was really, like, impacting neighborhood patrol badly. Yeah, unfortunately, when we have large demonstrations like that, um, our patrol is utilized um, sometimes, especially with the large numbers are there. Sometimes we do have to pull from patrol, so sometimes um, right. the neighborhood patrol does shrink until we're able to handle the, the so, large. So there, there, is, there is nothing, there's no... You don't have, like, I, I'm not aware of anything, you know, I, I'm I'm familiar with the leftist organizers in this town, but none of them are, like, into violence. Yeah, and we don't have any, we don't, there's no indication that there's going to be any mass violence or anything like that here um, at this time. Great. Um, obviously, if we get made aware of something, we'll be make sure to let the public know about it, but as of right now, we're not made aware of anything going on. Okay, are there any uh, public uh, uh events planned for Martin Luther King Day? Uh, not that I'm aware of. Normally they do have the Martin Luther King uh, parade. I don't think that's going on with COVID right now. Uh huh. Um, but as far as we know, there's nothing planned. I mean, there's we, got, we haven't been made aware of anything that's going on. Well, that's that's really good news. You know, I, 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 I really feel like I'm in a bubble for the last, you know, four years of all this madness because Tucson is so kind and so sane. <laughs> The weather is too, either too nice to want to bother with stupid shit or too hot to have the energy. Yep, and yeah, there's, there's only there's one or two weather here in Tucson, that's about it. Too hot, hot, too hot, too wet, or too, uh, too or, 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 or too nice to, to, yep. to, to just do stupid things. Keeps us very kind in this town. What was yeah, your name I, again, please, Sergeant? Sergeant Gurdias. Gurdias. No problem. I appreciate it, man. Happy day and stay safe. Happy day. Thanks Happy for day. your time. Bye bye. Of course. Bye. My nose is dirty. I've been up for this. My desk is so full of filth. I, I need to quit smoking. That's what filths up my desk. Anyway, uh, here we are. Uh, <laughs> Uh, it, it's 10.39 a.m. I, I can't be, for some reason, I can't stream, so I'll just make these and, and post them as I feel like making them and posting them. Uh, that was, a, uh, I, I should have I had the thing running from the beginning. Uh, that was the uh, uh, PIO officer. Um, I had to, <laughs> you know, I, 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 didn't, I didn't record the calls, the last couple of calls. It, Mickey Peterson called me. And, and, and Mitch Kagan called me the other day, and I didn't record either of them, and I haven't recorded. Or maybe I did. I forget. <laughs> I, think I, I think I waited before I turned on Kagan. Um, <laughs> I don't remember if I uploaded them or not. I didn't upload this. This is news. <laughs> this is me doing my job. Um, I'm having fun this morning because all my friends are having fun. Because the Trumpers are melting down, and we're dealing with the older ones, you know. Uh, uh, Casey Totorita is uh, dealing with an 83-year-old Southern woman who's like just not with it. <laughs> and and 
Toby Tanner and I are hanging out on uh, NPR's page, getting into it with people. Uh, <laughs> let me see what's happening. Just so, you know, just see what's going on. I, I mainly I'm looking at apartments. Um, I'm finding a bunch of them uh, this morning from a tip that uh, uh, links a couple of links that uh, Maria sent me. Maria, you know, her name is Maria Siri Sneasel. Um, and you're just totally misappraising our relationship. Um, we're soul sisters. She's my big sister. She, she, she's my friend, my girlfriend. She don't want to live with anybody but her cats right now, okay? And I'm really feeling like I'm not up for living with anybody either, okay? Uh, neither one of us is easy to handle in big doses because we're very assertive people and don't put up with any bullshit at all. And you, sir, are nothing but bullshit. I'm sorry. You know, call me ass blasted uh, for talking this way if you like. I don't care. You know, yeah, my, my, this is, you know, this is, this is a shit storm around me, but that's me. I'm an artist. Fuck you. You know, I get things done. Um, I don't make any money to speak up, but, I'm really useful. People are really happy to see the things I have to say, to hear the sounds I make with my instruments and see the things I say that come out of my hands. So you are engaged in a conspiracy to defame me and assassinate my character. And that's on you, man. Um, the Sedition Task Force has been formed. You know, the changes did happen. America is not tolerating white supremacy anymore. It's just not going to fly past here. This is exactly where it is. You know, we've been chipping away at the institutionalized discrimination since the late 1950s. All of us together. You know, fuck BLM with this, all this white shaming. You know, we are, you know, it's, you got it, Morgan Freeman hit it. And, you know, and people get on me for quoting Morgan Freeman because he's, he's, he's one of them good black people that got a lot of money that, that the white guys suck up to and, and, and use him as, you know, as Oreo. Fuck that shit. Fuck, fuck, fuck judging people on, 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 on the melanin content of their skin. You know, talk about some stupid fucking crap to still be going on after all these fucking millennia. Uh, it's judging people on their fucking skin color or, 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 you know, how they dress and behave, you know, well, you have a dick, you have to be like, you know, a killer, killer. <laughs> fuck that, give it a rest already, it's not getting past this point, it, it will not, you will have to kill everybody like me, and there are lots of us, there are lots of us, you know. I'm a real person. I'm a human. I have a male and a female aspect. My male aspect is no fucking fun. And, you know, I don't have a vagina, but I'm a woman, so fuck off with that shit, okay? You know, women don't are don't necessarily have to be like all frou frou and and, and and runway models. You know, I'm a butch woman. That's so hard to get about that. I'm not trying, you know. I, I got my stuffed animals. I, 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 I rescue stuffed animals. We've got a pink elephant. Um, I'm trying. You know, that's all any of us can do is just try to be as good a person as we can be. Um, I don't know what else to say about that. Let's see if there's anything interesting to talk about. Um, that I can't talk about that so easily. There's an appeal to parents and drinking children. And here's my, you know, one of my sisters, uh, 
a woman born with a penis. And she says, I'm in, and she's in recovery for, for a long time now. She's been working at it pretty good. She fell off the wagon. Uh, I've known her for eight or nine, ten years almost now. She fell off the wagon about five years ago and has been back on it. And she just moved from Texas to Minnesota and she just posted a thing. Some days she's a warrior, some days she's a broken mess. Most days she's a bit of both. But every day she's there, standing, fighting, trying. I don't like to call it fighting, I like to call it a struggle. That fighting, uh, the aggression and anger and violence, those are things that we need to discard and, and avoid being. You know, it's all about what we're going to be in the moment. And I choose to be peace and love and music. Well, let me let me get my let me get my whistle wet a little bit, and I'll play something. I think I can play the flute with a. I can't play the flute with uh, the saxophone with sucking on a cough drop because it's too messy on the reed. Yeah, I'll, I'll, maybe I'll try to, you know, I'll try to close everything down um, after I, you know, af this afternoon. I, I need to I need to have a lot of stuff open right now because apartment hunting things are just like scattered all over my desk right now because I'm apartment hunting. And when I have too much stuff open, the audio on the stream doesn't work. <laughs> Here's a meme uh, from This Is Brooke B. Waving the Blue Lives Matter flag as you openly disobey law enforcement is extra cool because it illustrates how your flag never meant pro-police. In the first place, it literally just meant anti-black. Oh, shit. <laughs> yes.
<laughs> Single mounds. Oh, I still have this thing running, don't I? Um, Diane just, uh, the Standing Rock Protectors Group admin, uh, just posted a photo of uh, some kid sitting at uh, in a, in a, on a on a on a couch in the in the in the Capitol holding a police shield, wearing you know, bear skins and a, a fox hat. Um, and uh, a picture of a native activist holding a bullhorn somewhere else. Um, photo number one, the police shield clutching maggot insurrectionist son of a prominent New York City judge having just stormed the Capitol building and looking like he just woke up from a 20-year-old, a 20-year LSD coma. People died. Number two, Nick Tilson, Oglala Lakota, who, while protesting the illegal occupation of indigenous lands, also found himself with a police shield. No one died. Guess which one of them is facing 17 years in prison? Um, and uh, I was writing to uh, Diane, asking her if she had any links to anything to support Nick. And as for Junior, he's likely to do some years, too. Do you know his name? I think I'm going to make an album of all the young, dumb, full of cum, privileged Wasisu domestic terrorists and their families, starting with Kyle Rittenhouse, Jake Angeli, and their single moms. Angeli won uh, uh, an order uh, to uh, be fed his organic shaman diet <laughs> while he's in custody, hopefully for the next 20 years. <laughs> Fuckhead. And, and Rittenhouse was uh, uh, seen out drinking with his mother. Um, the the, the uh, West Virginia, I forget the guy's name, the West Virginia uh, guy who filmed himself breaking into the, <laughs> into the, into the uh, I, I can't believe how stupid these people are. Yeah, the, 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 the revolution will not be televised. It's going to be broadcast live by the idiots from their own cell phones. Uh, Boy, they're all melting down at the airport when they find out that they're on a no-fly list and getting busted. <laughs> oh, to be a hippie today. Uh, I, I really, I, I, my 
siblings are just like trying to um, not be too proud of ourselves for having been right about this shit straight along. Um, I, you know, we spent years, I mean, it, it was, you know, all through the 90s uh, and, and 80s, the organizers of public assemblies worked hard with the people that attended to keep them from breaking windows and setting garbage cans on fire and throwing bricks at the police and shit like that. And, you know, we, we had a rough time at Occupy Austin keeping people from doing that shit. Um, and, you know, I was part of the team that, you know, I was, I've always been neighborhood watch. Um, I, I was talking to Sergeant Magdal uh, before I turned on the uh, OPS. I had to call OPS because they're the only ones I could get through to. Uh, none of the, none of the stations are answering their phones, and uh, the uh, none of them are returning the messages. Uh, and I know that the patrol is overwhelmed with domestic violence calls. I mean, I know this is going on. They're not publicizing it, but that's what's happening. Um, there's just so much tension in people's homes right now. The police are overwhelmed dealing with it. And the only ones you can get through to are dispatch and, 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 and office professional standards. The only ones have anybody actually answering the phone. Um, everybody's working remote as much as possible. And uh, the calls are stacking bad. You know, if it's a low-priority call with no violence, uh, they, 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 they'd rather you make the report online than dispatch somebody to take the report. So, you know, this town, even before COVID, if they didn't see you do it, you got away with it. Unless you hurt somebody really bad or stole something really expensive. They aren't going to look into it. Because they don't have the, they don't have the, they don't have the crime scene investigators. They have nobody to deal with cybercrime at all. And they're forcing me to sue them. Rather, rather than taking some steps, and, and, and all they really had to do is request assistance from the FBI. I'm not the only victim in this town. And all I had to do was re request assistance from the FBI, and they just refused to do that. So they promised me to do it from the beginning, and they refused straight along. Okay, well, I probably shouldn't, you know, th this, this video has a purpose because I'm reporting on, on uh, known issues for the weekend. Uh, so let me wrap up with, with that. Um, Tucson Public Information Officer has no indication of any, any extra trouble. Um, the, there's no public events planned because of COVID, and Tucson's usually chill. And the, you know, we had some people, we had we had some leftists being stupid at 22nd and Alvernon for a few weeks every day, uh, which you know was just annoyances that were totally unnecessary in this town because we have a community-based police department. Uh, that is very responsive to the people and is not oppressive and does not respond violently. I've hardly ever seen them use excessive force. Um, never. I mean, you know, I, there, I, there, was a, there was a hard ass who gave me some shit one, you know, a couple of times. Um, and, but otherwise, uh, They're real respectful. I mean, they're real respectful. I'm not, I'm not a typical transgender person. I'm bi-gender. And 
I realized that um, I'm going to register as male with people. That's just goes with the turf. Um, and people are just hugely respectful of it. It's like, oh, okay, that makes sense. Um, and, you know, you'll hear it in, 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 in the conversation with, with, the, with, the, with Sergeant, Sergeant uh, Gurdia. Or, and um, you know, just hugely respectful of it, um, especially the cops. I have no trouble. Um, getting misgendered, you know, it's like, hey, no, I'm not a guy, please. Oh, okay. Don't I? I, I don't always have to explain myself either. It's just I'm not a guy. Oh, okay, sorry. No, so I'm not. I'm not you know, I mean, I clean up well. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I can look like a woman. Either. You know, I, 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 I don't go out in public looking the way I do, like when I've been grubbing around inside. Um, I, I, I keep putting off getting in the bathtub. You know, I end up just washing down, taking a quick shower. Um, I think this afternoon is going to be one of those afternoon delights. For me. You know, I've been just... What happens is I get up and, and, and instead of like going straight to, you know, shit, shower, and shave, um, sometimes I just shit. Um, I don't like to shave like first thing in the morning because by afternoon I'm feeling scratchy if I go out, you know, so I'd rather I wait to shave be, to, to right before I go out. Um, you know, I shaved late last, you know, it's scratchy now in the morning. Um, because I, I, I was I started shaving later in the day because that's when I go out. But I'm not I'm not a guy, and I'm not I'm not I'm not a, 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 a you know I'm I'm definitely not a you know like this um, epitome of femininity. <laughs> you have to understand. The differences between the way a woman thinks and the way a man thinks, to understand me, um, I'm just I'm just sorting it out now myself. Um, you can see in my face <laughs> whether I'm expressing my female side or male side, just easily because I'm. Women are more more contemplative, I think, than men. Um, I've had to train myself to not say the first thing that comes on my mind when people like trip my trigger, and just think about something a little more diplomatic uh, for a second before I say blurt something out. Um, that's to me that's 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 a woman's thinking as opposed to a man's thinking, being reactive. You know, a woman is going to consider things first a little bit. Uh, before she moves on it. Um, um, I don't know if you don't, uh, you know, with the feminist movement, you know, and, and BLM too, it's like, you know, I mean, are we, are we trying to um, level the playing field for everybody? Or are we looking for our piece of the supremacy pie? That's what things look like to me so much. You know, it's like with feminists. Um, that's what got us people like Carly Fiorini and, 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 and Hillary Clinton. <laughs> you know, it's like, so so feminism is, is, is the struggle to, for women's right to be toxic like men. <laughs> and, and same with BLM, you know, it's like, look, yes, everybody, you know, nobody's life matters any more than anybody else's. Okay? Our rule of law demands that, that we not discriminate against people because of things like skin color or gender or religion. Um, 
And it just seems to me that all these, you know, these movements are just demanding their right to be like impose their will on people without those be other people's consent to be supremacist in their own way. It's a bunch of shamanism. You know, everybody wants to be everybody wants to be special. Just just be special in yourself. Just don't, don't worry about what anybody else is. You know, life's not a competition. <laughs> this is aggression and, and, and competing and it's like mm, that's that's what what we got got us here. That's what's got us here. Um, and I, I, I really I really feel confident in the response of the actual government servants um, to all of this. We're taking it for what it is. We cannot just like shrug it off and hug and you know kiss and make up this time. People got to go to jail for a long time. A bunch of people. Thousands of people going to jail on this one. Um, this was a nationwide, well-financed act of sedition. Nothing there, to call it anything less is just playing into the corporatocracy. That's trying to undermine our rule of law to the point where they have an excuse, where they've manufactured consent within the tax paying, within the voting taxpayers. They, they're, they're trying to have, create a spectacle that is great enough for them to manufacture consent to impose martial law on the United States. That's what the objective is here. Now, I have seen... Oh, I'm still I'm still broadcasting, aren't I? This was I just was responding to somebody about an apartment. There's a three hundred and fifty dollar move in special uh, on the south side. Where the fuck was it? Forty six fifty southeast. Oh, it's out near the this is the one out way the no not way that fuck out east. This is this is like twenty second and, and Craycroft or something like that. Twenty second and Swan. Which isn't too bad. So the, the number seven bus straight into town and it's walking distance from Reed Park. It's a little close to the Air Force Air, Air Base, which is okay too. Because um, I, I, I've been wanting to get over there to take pictures.
anyway, back to like sedition. 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 That was Randy Rainbow's latest song. <laughs> This will be good though. It's a nice, nice big. Uh, the two bedrooms are 750 square feet. I'm waiting. I'm waiting on her to tell me how much. There's a nice house for $1,600 with three bedrooms and three baths. That's an easy one for people to do. You know, a little group home. I just haven't been able to find anybody that can stand me or I can stand that to do it with. Davia, I could probably do it with. Um, but she's not been um, eager. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, wow. $8,000 for a 1962 Chevy and Pal. If I look up the price, I'll bet it costs less to move. Yeah, these people think I spend like my whole day on their, on their site. Um, and uh, just agonizing over every word they write. <laughs> I hardly read any of it. A lot, of, a lot of them I don't even open. A lot of the threads I don't even bother with. Most of the threads I don't even bother with. I'll pick, I'll pick a couple of them to, to comment in, and then, you know, try and try and just you know, deal with 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 just a few a few threads instead of thirty of them. <laughs> I haven't even looked at kiwi farms all week. Well, you can't. Kiwi kiwi's down. Um, I wonder if it's back up. <laughs> I mean, he's got something up. He's got a chatter up or something. I'm not sure what the fuck he's got up. But let's see if it's offering. Oh, he's got the whole thing, and I'm logged in. <laughs> oh, and here they're speculating what will happen to Thomas in 2021.
Well, here's here's you know see that this is here. This is this is so so typical. Here's this Mariposa Electrique, who is a Spanish woman. Um, married to some married with children, and I I don't know what the fuck her connection is to this, but here I remember when people found out that you were a pedophile, they banned you from that gem show and had to call the cops to escort you off the premises. I remember when some big black guy threatened to knock your ass out. Also, when you fought with Rob. Because you refuse, he refused you access to his crotch. Who the fuck is Rob? <laughs> oh, this must. Oh God, this, people are sick. First of all, I'm not a pedophile. They didn't ban me from the gem show. The cops did not ex escort me off the premises. Uh, a totally mentally unhinged Trump tard. I don't even want to look at this shit. This is just so ridiculous. This is too ridiculous. Yeah, no, Tom will not continue to spur a deep price in Mariposa Electric. Um, this is about as far as I'm, I'm going to let it go. Uh, <laughs> and, you know, I, I just, uh, just don't even want to, you know, these are, these are angry, unhappy people projecting the denial of their own self-loathing at me, period. Um, I don't have time for it. I really don't. Um, I'm not even gonna bother with it now, plus I don't want it to blow my blow my buzz. This is the only tobacco I have, and I think we're gonna leave that alone. I'm getting a little jittery just from looking at that shit. Um, I've been uh, just basically living my life. Oh, I was going to play something. That's right. I think that's what I'm going to do is just play a little something for a little while and just get, 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 to the, get the stupid out of my head. You know, no more stupid. Okay, well, where's the message? Oh, here it is.
Okay. The single rent is too high for me, but the double might work. Well, the double is 800. 885. That's still a little high. This. She can only afford 300. Yeah, I gotta come up with six and utilities. Yeah. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm now. I'm getting into like talking to somebody in, in text. So I think we're gonna cut this off. I am not a man. I don't claim to be a woman either. I'm an intersex person. I have a male and female <laughs> aspect. Um. And that's just the way it is. And I, 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 uh, um, that's just the way it is. And you're either going to respect it or be assholes. And I don't care if you want to be an asshole because I'll just like, tune you out and eventually the universe is going to take care of you if I'm not able to mount any kind of legal action against you and uh, I have confidence in that because the universe takes care of me um, no matter what you do to me no matter how, how, how badly you hurt me the universe protects you, me from you being able to hurt me significantly and, and I don't care. You know, I, I behave in a way that 
I, I'm trying to make people laugh. Um, so I really don't care if you want to ridicule me. Um, people who laugh with me laugh with me, and people who laugh at me are stupid. It's easy enough. That's the way it's always been. It's like, you know, for all you people that think, you know, want to, want to portray me as angry and unhappy and, you know, I'm just, I'm just a sloppy artist. Yes, I'm, I'm, I'm really, really unkempt and dirty and that's the way I am. And fuck you if you don't like it. Some people find it, you know, um, amusing. <laughs> um, they... They, I get, I, the things people say to me embarrass me sometimes. They're so, um, moved by things I've done. Um, Sergeant Mactel thanked me for my service today as, you know, Somebody who's always been on Neighborhood Watch. Somebody who's always been part of the um, community that interfaced with the law enforcement when there was a public assembly. Um, that's what I've done. You know, I, I, I've always been in the street. I've, I've, I've worked and played in the street all my life. And I love it. And I come from a, you know, my... my parents were political junkies they were very much involved in the political process my father was was then both my my parents were always involved in the legislative process at the at the ward level at least or the city level and speaking at, at at public hearings and shit all my life you know this is what what the kind of family i come from we're part we're americans we're we the people, we're it's, this is our country, and we're going to run it the way we want to run it. And my father lived a very fruitful life. Um, that was the hardest part of it. And and he still was wise enough to make sure that we were friends when he died. So, what can I say except, you know, you know, blessed are you all and you're coming in and blessed may you all be in your going out and namaste, motherfuckers. <laughs> Happy day. Thanks for watching. Bye.